I read about it about a year ago that it had just won the Olivier Award in London. And, um, yeah. and so when Howard said that they had it and they were going to do it, I jumped on it. It's not often you get a fresh script that's still on its original run in London. It's the Big Chill. Big Chill was a film in the 80s about a group of 30-year-olds get together and basically they tear each other to bits. And it, this starts like an Agatha Christie where they all arrive at this old manor house. They're all snowbound. But instead of the, the threat being outside, it's inside within all their personalities. Uh, I'm playing Adam. He's a uh, wayward lover who uh, meets, meets another character on the internet and um, meets Daniel on the internet. That's where I come into it. I think I'm like the kind of forlorn heroine, if you will. Yeah, it's not it's not so much a like a happy ending as just a slice of life journey. Forlorn heroine, you like that? <laughs> Classic midlife crisis fashion victimish kind of person. So who's trying to get into the latest gadgets and the latest style? I love the fact that she's completely unsensitive. She just doesn't have a filter. She's like. Um, she's desperate, desperate for people to love her, but she just doesn't know how to socially kind of, you know, she just, she just says things which are kind of a bit off. <laughs> Should be a bit of fun. It's one of, those, it's one of those occasions where everybody gets together as a, uh, for a party, but a lot of the characters haven't seen each other for some time. So uh, when they're all getting together, kind of chaos happens because alcohol gets in the mix and so I'm sure there's a lot of people who will identify with uh, an occasion, just one or two. Now in the play in the Priory, um, uh, it's a residential house that people have um, hired out for people to come and rent and have as a holiday home and have parties and have gatherings and, and events and things like that. So what they've transferred the stage to at the moment is an older style, mansion-esque type house. And uh, Kate, who is my best friend in the show, she has hired the place for her friends at New Year's. But she originally hired the place with her ex-boyfriend, who's now not there. So we've all come to catch up. If you love theatre, you love this. There's everything in it. There's arguments, there's comedy, there's a bit of slapstick in it, there's humour, there's love, jealousy, hate. No song and dance, no tap dancing, but there's music in the show, so there you go. It all takes place on New Year's Eve.